A St. Lawrence University professor celebrates a major accomplishment, a multi-month kayak trip where she faced below zero temperatures and the threat of being crushed by icebergs. Here's 7 News reporter Sean Brenda. Professor Eileen Visser left the North Country in June, setting off for a 103 day voyage across the Northwest Passage by kayak. Now home, Visser says the experience will stick with her forever. I thought many, many days, this is like rewinding the Adirondacks 9 to 9,500 years, 9,000 to 9,500 years. I mean, just you look at the plant life, especially on the north side. This and her paddling team, the Arctic Cowboys, became the first to traverse the Northwest Passage in a season by human power. During this time, Visser's daughter, Heidi, was keeping track of her journey as she paddled across the Canadian Arctic. Even knowing, like even hearing all the stories, it's still, my, my brain still struggles to make sense of the fact that she did that, that she like paddled 3,000 kilometers for like three and a half months straight. Like it's just, it's incredible, right? Like you're like, how? Visser's paddling partner, Mark Agnew, says there were times during the expedition that danger was a real factor for everyone especially when they were almost crushed by two icebergs. Two bits of ice began to close and hit each other with Eileen and I in between. And uh, unbelievably, it didn't crush us to death. Instead, because of the round bottom of our kayak, it sort of pinched us up. Like if you try and squeeze a bar of soap, and it slips up out of your hand rather than being crushed together. Visser says now that she's home, she'll give a presentation to St. Lawrence students in the coming weeks and appreciates the support that she got during her trip. And for me, the perspective of what's important and being part of the universe and not in control of it, you know, and that was a gift. Sean Brenda, 7 News.